Gone are the days where you have to spend many hundreds of dollars or perhaps even thousands of dollars for decent audio equipment. Will Mayono be a good choice for you at this entry level category? I think that you're going to be surprised, but more than anything, I hope that by the time you finish watching this video, you can make an educated decision as to whether or not this microphone is the one for you. I'm LL Mel, and you are watching Creators Tech, technology for creators. And today we're going to be reviewing the Mayono PD 200X microphone. A special thank you to Mayono for reaching out to me and sending me this unit for honest review. Not only that, but they went ahead and sent this really nice matching white boom arm to go with it. The physical features of this microphone are the following. It has a USB-C connection, an XLR connection, a 3.5 millimeter headphone output. It has a physical mute button. It has an audio gain knob. When pressed, it then turns into an audio headphone volume knob. This microphone does include a link to the free Mayono software to use along with it. For the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and put the specs up on your screen. In the box, you get the Mayono PD200X microphone. Included with it is a windscreen, a shock mount, a user manual, a USB-C to USB-C cable that includes a USB-A adapter at one end and it has a threaded mount adapter. This is what the microphone sounds like when I'm speaking directly into it. This is what the microphone sounds like when I'm speaking about six inches away from it. This is what the microphone sounds like when I'm speaking about one foot away from it. This is what the microphone sounds like when I'm speaking at about three feet away from it. Now we're going to test the off axis rejection of this microphone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Now we're going to run a sibilance test on this microphone. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Sally sells seashells by the seafloor. Now we're going to do a plosive test on this microphone. Now we're going to go ahead and see how well this does at rejecting some background noise that's caused by your keyboard and mouse. Keep in mind I have Cherry MX Brown switches on my keyboard. I'm typing on my keyboard and I'm clicking on my mouse. I'm typing on my keyboard and I'm clicking on my mouse. I'm typing on my keyboard and I'm clicking on my mouse. Despite this being an entry-level microphone, it does have software that is included along with it, which in this particular case, I consider it to be a plus. When using this software, you can go ahead and live monitor as you're adjusting your settings in real time. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my headphones for this one. So now we're gonna have a look at what the Mayono software has to offer. We have a mute button that we can toggle on and off through here, which we could also do here through this physical button. It has a gain volume level right here. We can increase the gain and we can decrease the gain. We're gonna go ahead and set it back to what it was. 
It has an audio monitoring volume level as well. You can turn it off if you don't want to monitor your audio or you can turn it back on. We have four different tone levels here and we have the deep. So this is what it sounds like in the deep. Of course, you can hear that the bass is boosted and some of the other ones might be reduced just slightly if my hearing is right. Then we have the original, which is what I've been recording this microphone with in its default state. This is what you hear straight out of the box and first use case. And this is the natural sound level. As you can hear, the higher frequencies are boosted and the mid and low frequencies are diminished here. So you get better clarity when you're speaking. Now we're back to original and we're going to go ahead and see the RGB options. You can set it to off. So the RGB is now off here, as you can see on the ring, on the microphone. And the RGB is back on. We have our brightness adjusted to a level of one right now. We can also set individual colors, white, red, orange, yellow, green, turquoise, blue, fuchsia and multicolor as well. That is the standard setting option. As you can see here at the top, we're going to go ahead and look at the advanced now. So now at the advanced settings, the idea is that you can go ahead and see more options. You can set the gain, obviously the headphone, uh, mic monitoring, but then you also have custom equalization settings. So you have like a flat, flat option here so it makes the sound as flat as it can be and it also has a high pass filter which means it takes out the bass from the sound uh, that it's recording it has a presence boost so it can pretty much boost the mids in your audio and it has an hpf which is the high pass filter and it has the presence boost. So it's it's these two options combined. And now we clicked on custom. And custom is where you have the equalizer options. So you can enable it off and on right here. And we have the standard mode, which was just offers three bands of equalization at 100 hertz, uh, 1 kilohertz, and 10 kilohertz. And for those advanced users, we have the other bands as well. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bands of equalization, which is just superb. It gives you more control over your audio. Personally speaking, I do like the V shape in my voice uh, equalization. So that's what I have it set to right now. And that's what you're listening to. Now, the limiter... For those of you that don't know, what you might be asking, what is a limiter? A limiter is a tool that helps reduce the audio from reaching the clipping threshold. By enabling this limiter, it goes ahead and takes those high-end sounds that are too loud, and it just kind of clips them a little bit. Uh, it doesn't actually cut them off. It it helps reduce them by a ratio. For those of you that know, you know. For those of you that are still learning, it's stuff that you'll learn as you go along, but it's not absolutely crucial for you to know the nuances of this right now. Just know that it does help reducing clipping at the high ends. I'm going to turn off the limiter, and now I'm going to turn on the compressor. And as you adjust it, it helps compress the wavelength of the sound so your your lows are boosted slightly and your highs are lowered slightly it makes it easier for your audience it makes it easier for them to listen in long format uh, audio listening sessions because it doesn't fatigue the ear as much when compared to having dynamic sound meaning that the sound goes up real high and really low and your ear is constantly having to compensate and adjust its listening ability to the higher volumes and lower volumes. This kind of keeps it a, a little bit more just more centered as far as your audio volumes go. This has been the Meono software. It's pretty simple. 
pretty standard, pretty basic for the most part, but its options that it does offer are really, really nice to have. And they're options, quite frankly, that I don't see on most microphones offered at this price point. Wow. Just simply wow. What a microphone. I still can't believe that this microphone comes in at this high of a quality and at this price point, it's really, really good. I really like it. It's it's a thumbs up for sure. Wow, Mayono, you have surprised me. I had no idea. But now, after doing this review and running some tests on it and having it for weeks, I am very pleasantly surprised. My first impressions about it when I first got it were actually not that great. It looked very similar to some of the other microphones that are out there already as far as aesthetics go. I selected this white color. However, there's also a black variant. Now the build quality on this microphone, it didn't feel too sturdy to me, at least at first. But once I started realizing that this is actual metal and the grill inside of it is made out of metal, it started to give me a little bit more confidence with it. This microphone is still very light and so therefore it doesn't instill the most confidence, but that's still not something that is a deal breaker, especially at this price point. Considering that it's just mostly going to be on a boom arm, which by the way, Mayono, thank you for this boom arm. Uh, I want to say it works just fine. You can maneuver it relatively easily. I would consider it uh, on the lowest end in terms of entry level boom arms. It's just very basic. But other than that, if, if you're an entry level streamer, this is more than enough for what you want to do. Okay, so back to the microphone. It has a touch mute button, which unfortunately you can hear the press of that button. I'm going to go ahead and do the hum test. So I'm going to hum as I pressing the mute button and you can listen in on that press of the button. Mm -hmm. The other button that we have on this microphone is this dial switch you can go ahead and turn it and it will go ahead and give you the dial reading for your gain and if you press it it will change color and it will give you the volume level for your audio monitoring and by the way the audio monitoring is done in real time one downside of this dial is that you can't just look at it and see at what level your gain is at or at what level your volume is at. It does have a light indicator that flashes on and off when you go ahead and reach your maximum level, it flashes, or when you reach your minimum level, it also flashes. But in between, you can't see it unless you have the software turned on on your PC. And there's just one more button, and that's at the very back here. As you can see, it's a little black button here. And that's what goes ahead and helps you cycle through the different LED colors on the ring of this microphone. It allows you to go ahead and adjust the colors without having to go into the software. And speaking of software, that was probably the second biggest surprise that came with this microphone. I know there are other microphones out there at higher price points, by the way, that already come with software. But this one, at this price point, I was not expecting software. Meono went above and beyond and created software for this microphone that allows you to adjust a few of the settings. Some of them are not key settings, such as the RGB lighting brightness for it. However, it is really nice to be able to adjust it, especially if you're a content creator like me that needs to be able to control the lights. But when you're going ahead and producing content, 
that's when you need to have control over this so that your viewer can actually see it across the screen. Another option is that it comes with an equalizer, allowing you more range as to how you want your sound to come out from this little microphone. Not only that, but it also features a limiter and a compressor, which if you know how to use these, they will greatly help the sound quality of your streams. So now you might be asking yourself, what was the number one thing that surprised you about this microphone? Well, in simple terms, the sound quality. Oh my goodness, I could not believe my ears when I started listening to the sound quality that this captures. The sound signature from this microphone boosts the high ends just enough to where it's going to be clear and the low ends, it's going to boost them slightly so that you get some of that fullness and rounded out sound signature that I like. And not only that, but out of the box, it already sounds like it has some compression to it, some of that radio richness that you can get out of some microphones. For the price, this microphone comes in at an extremely nice value. You have been listening to this microphone in USB mode, but you can also use it in XLR mode and it sounds excellent as well. This microphone compares very nicely with the Fifine AM8 and the Fifine K688 microphones. They all have their own individual sound signatures, so you might want to go ahead and check out the comparison video I did to see what kind of sound signature you like the most. This is one of those microphones that is actually very, very recommended by myself. I would recommend this to anybody doing game streams, any kind of podcasting or any kind of content creation where you are doing voiceovers or talking head. This is quite versatile. And again, I just want to remind you, there is no right or wrong answers to the type of sound signature you choose for your productions. It just depends on what you want to get out to your audience. I hope this video helps you in your decision making process so that you can make a more educated choice. If you're planning on buying this microphone or any of the equipment used to produce this video, please check in the description section. Any purchase made through our affiliate link will help us earn a commission that will help keep this channel growing. I hope I have earned a like from you. And if you have any questions, please feel free to write them down in the comments section. I aim to respond to as many as I can. I'm LL Mel, and thank you very much for watching Creators Tech, technology for creators.